Welcome. 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 <laughs> Fair roll to confirm. We're our first uh, first edition Pathfinder role playing podcast. Uh, you can listen to at home or watch at home. Listen to it on the car on your way to work, at work when you're on break, in the shower, at the gym, wherever you want. Uh, my name is Rick Roberts. I'm the host and DM of our first campaign, which is Rovian's Gate. I'm from Bayshore, New York. I've been playing uh, role playing games since since the days of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition. You know, back when a dwarven fighter could only reach level eight. It was a great time. Uh, I'll also be playing the character of Graham Campbell, the human war priest of Saint Ogden. Now let's meet the rest of the cast. Dave, you're up. Hi, my name's David. I'm down in Florida right now, and uh, I've been playing Pathfinder for 13 years. Um, I'm going to be playing a human inquisitor this time, who calls himself Justice. Leslie, go ahead. Hi, my name is Leslie Davis, and I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I've been playing Pathfinder for a very long time, and I will be playing a half-elf witch named Ray Nevers. Sam? I'm Sam Parody. Um, I live in Maine. I lived the first part of my life uh, with my brother in New York. My brother Steve is going to introduce himself later. Don't ship us, okay? Um, this is only like my third year of playing Pathfinder. I started just a few years ago. I'm the baby of the group as far as experience goes. Um, I'm going to be playing an ASMR named Suri Zucchini this time. Alan? Hi, I'm Alan. I live in Central Virginia. I've been playing various role-playing games, Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, Vampire, since 97. Uh, but for this game, I will be playing a Goblin Cavalier by the name of Gogtart. Steven? I am Steve. I'm Sam's brother. Uh, I live in Long Island, New York. I'm not that far away from Rick. I've been playing Pathfinder for about 13 years. I've started with David up there. Um, before that, I played Vampire. Uh, but um, this campaign, I'm going to be playing a Tiefling uh, Mind Blade Magus. His name is Rainier on Blood Rose. And uh, if you'd like any more information on the cast or inside into our characters we'll be playing, please check out our cast highlights page on Instagram, or you can follow my TikTok, uh, blue underscore shadow knight where I will be doing cast confessionals, get a little more insight into each of those characters. Now, before we get started, Sam, do you have anybody we want to cast a light on today? Uh, yes. If you've been following us on social media, you're going to know that a big goal of ours is to help other groups and individuals realize their dreams. Part of uh, how we're doing that for the people in this group is we are going to be showcasing a variety of GMs throughout the time on this podcast. We're um, rotating GMs per campaign. This first one is going to have Rick Roberts here. And uh, next time it could be any one of us. And we want to let people individual skills shine and give the audience a taste of all the different flavors that we have a, have to offer. We also have been um, and will be periodically casting light on a variety of artists, musicians, and small businesses who are dear to us or who have helped us on this journey in any kind of small way. You're going to hear about these promotions right here at the beginning of our episodes, but you'll also see them on our social media pages. So make sure, like Steve said, to check those out. Um, we will have their pages listed. We'll have information about them and other cool, important information. Our first ever business to cast light on is going to be Nerdcore over where I am in the Auburn Main Mall. Um, it's a business. It's local to me. And it's a family-run place. It's a man, his wife, their little boy, and their dog. They kind of are bringing our mall back to life. It's been dead for a while and their mission is kind of close to what my mission is as part of this. Um, and that's to highlight different artists and give people a place where they can feel safe and where they can go and hang out and be with like-minded individuals. They're super cool. If you live in the area, you should definitely go and check them out. They, they have a bunch of sweet tabletop role-playing game stuff, but if you're not local, you can always go and like their page and follow them. And that would be really great. Um, I think there are some other people who want to shine light on other artists. Leslie? Yes, yes. I have a couple. First and foremost, I would like to thank the artist Jamie Kimley. They 
did a wonderful job on my character brain. I'm very pleased. And she looks like this. Does wonderful. Uh, they do wonderful artwork. And um, and she ha has an Instagram. And so if you would like to get a commission done from them, then please message them or contact them. They will be happy to create a, uh, a commission. And second is one of my friends from for a very long time now, like over 20 plus years, Eric Jones, go, his uh, tag is F-Drop. He makes wonderful beats and um, he is also a local rap artist and he has made our outro for us. It's so, so good. if you follow and stay till the end, you will be able to hear um, what he can do. And he will also have a link uh, where you can message him if you are interested in um, him creating any works that you may want. David, do you have anyone to cast light on? I do. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Simulation State or Simulation C on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, he helped me out with my character, Justice's character image. Um, when Justice starts off, he's kind of dressed as a commoner. He's a uh, looking a little ratty but as time wears on if rick doesn't kill him his final image is what <laughs> simulations he helped me out with and it, it really came out uh really great i'm looking forward to showing it off when the time comes and um i look forward to showing his art when in the meantime he's a great artist you're gonna see his work here tonight actually and uh thanks again simulation c uh yeah simulation state uh simulation c and tiktok instagram Really cool artist. Also did my commission work. Um, it's a little image there. Uh, if you check out our outro, which is really good, and I suggest you do give it a listen, um, we'll be listening in. All of our artists that are contributing to us, uh, they'll be on our outro page, and we'll also have them linked below. Um, Sam? Yeah, for now, um, Steve and Leslie are the only ones who have artwork that were done by real artists that we're showcasing like david said later he's going to have um the same some really good artwork uh done by a real artist by simulation c for now most of us here just have some ai stuff that i created with a program and with my own photo editing skills our goal is to make sure that we have human artists do this stuff um but for now this is the approach that we're taking and we really really look forward to selecting somebody out there in the world to help us with this goal um when the time comes stay tuned for that please because we'll get better all right thanks for sharing everyone and thank you all at home or at the gym or at work or in your car for watching or listening and we hope you enjoy tonight's first episode of roll to confirm yay This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, events, and incidents are the products of the DM's imagination and the imaginations of the cast. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. All player characters' images are owned by the cast. We claim no rights to NPC images. The views expressed by the players, especially while adopting the personas of their characters, do not represent the views of Roll to Confirm as a whole. Content produced may be offensive, and side effects may include uncontrollable laughter, eye-rolling, sighing, annoyance, anger, addiction to role-playing games, accidental accent use, being distracted at work, comfort eating, and crippling disappointment. Please listen or watch responsibly. Content not suitable for children under the age of 16. Rated R for ridiculous, all rights reserved. Roll to Confirm is an equal opportunity employer and does not discriminate against any race, creed, religion, plane of origin, or undead status. No actual animals, magical beasts, goblinoids, oozes, or constructs were harmed in the making of this production. Rothian's Gate. Uh, it's a story that takes place uh, in a world that I've, I've had in my head since I was 18 years old. It came about as part of a, a creative writing exercise in my first college English course. Uh, the world this is set on is a world called Charmara. It's a small blue ball, not entirely, not unlike our own at all, uh, except for a few little differences. Only five continents, three oceans, but it does have five moons. So, uh, as I said, a bit different. Uh, the continent this story takes place on is the continent of Grand Vale. Now, that continent is protected by a, a group called the Vale Guard. Uh, they are trained in combat, academics, everything. 
so that it can serve any one of the countries in Granville, any one of the five countries in Granville, for whatever is needed, either military, policing, disaster relief, monster attacks, or even spycraft. The central country, Alemania, is where the Vale Guard are headquartered and where they have their, their school, the training ground, called Vertizia Sorsha. The day that this story starts on is the day of the Grand Parade. This is the day of the cadet graduation where Grand Vale will get to greet its new guardians. At this graduation parade, there's also a lot of people. <laughs> Sorry. There's also exotic foods from every country, entertainment from every country, and everyone comes here to sample just a, what a slice of life from just from what every corner of Grand Vale is like. Crowds are everywhere. You can hear the parade in the background. And the scene opens. The story opens right in front of the gates of the Grand Courtyard where Vertizia Sorsha is in here. And we'll start with uh, Zuri Zucchini. What are you up to? Okay. So you'll see my character, Zuri Zucchini, walking around super excitedly. Um, she looks way too excited honestly it's a parade but she's a little bit weird and she uh, she's kind of bouncing um, looking from cart to cart um, when you first see her she's going to look like this for anyone who is seeing this at home looking at the computer um, she has kind of a periwinkle blue hair it looks very metallic in the sunlight it goes down to the backs of her thighs very very long she has um bangs above her eyebrows, these extremely excitable emerald colored, and they're not emerald, I'm sorry, they're gem colored eyes, but they're purple. They're extremely bright, like shining. Um, her, I'm sorry? Amethyst. Like amethyst. Yeah, like amethyst, thank you. Not emerald. She's had some image changes, so. <laughs> but her skin is pearlescent, and again, it's a very um, gem-like quality, kind of metallic. She has a purple and blue bodysuit. It's, it's, uh, it's like a sweetheart neckline. Um, blue and silver plated armor across her shoulders. She has brown leather sack on her back. She has a brown leather pouch at her hips. She carries a leather journal in her arm. And you'll see this very beautiful, intricate, delicate rapier attached to her the strap on her back. She's going to be looking for um, a vegetable cart. Is there a vegetable cart? All right. Well, you see a lot of stalls. Some selling vegetables, some selling smoked meats, cigars, weapons, actually. Uh, all decorative, nothing functional. Um, uh, you also see two people arguing over a box. A uh, noble, what looks like a, a noble family, seated in a Stagecoach? Yeah, but there is a vegetable. There is a vegetable stall here. Okay. I'm going to bound over and kind of hop to a stop in front of the cart. And I'm going to look at the man. I think it's a man. Is there a man behind yeah, the cart? It's a dwarven man. He's got uh he's got a green dyed beard and a bald head. Green dyed beard, okay. Oh. He's going to say, Hello, my name is Zare Zucchini. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, my name is uh, 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 Raleigh Gre Gre Greenbeard. I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry. I've got I've, I've, got, I've got a, a bit of a stutter. <clears throat> I'm Raleigh Greenbeard, and I, I, I sell I sell vegetables. Well, that is I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a farmer from just outside the city. I also do farming, and I would love to to buy some of your vegetables. Do you? Is there are there any vegetables here that maybe are not selling so well? Uh, well, 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 well. See, uh, uh, people don't don't tend to like uh, 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 gr green peppers around here. I, I don't I don't know why, but but they, they don't. Um, uh, they do like the tomatoes though. They they really do. Some people also don't like the eggplant. Uh, uh, some people. Everybody loves eggplant. Mm, not around here. I don't know why. But uh, see, what else? What else doesn't sell? Oh, the artichokes. Most people around here have no idea how to cook artichokes. Uh, um, also, the dragon pears don't sell too well. But you know, 
you 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 really have to like uh, 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 spicy food to like the dragon bear. I will take one of all of the vegetables you are having the hardest time selling, please. So 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 you you want a green pepper, uh, 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 um, an eggplant. Uh, you don't really need to repeat it. I will just take the things. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So he gives you a an artichoke, an eggplant, a green pepper, and a dragon pear. Thank you so much. I've never actually heard of the dragon pear. I've. You said it's spicy. Now, to give you an idea of what a dragon pear looks like, it's shaped as a normal green pear would be, but it is purple at the top and slowly transitions to a ruby red at the bottom. And it's much shinier than a normal pear. It's also a little it, bit heavier. This is beautiful. It is a spice. Is it fruit? It's uh, not, it, it is not a vegetable. No, it's, it's not a vegetable. It's fruit. I, I also sell fruit, but you know, this is one that's growing in seed. I see. Well, this is very kind of you. How much do I owe you for your beautiful fruits and vegetables? Uh, the, 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 let's see. The whole thing. Just give me, a, a, I think, six silver. We'll, we'll be fine. Six silver? Okay. Well, how about I, I give you... I'm going to just give you nine. Is that okay? What? What? Can I give you nine of them? What, nine, nine silver. Nine? Well, because I, I feel like... I don't, I don't know. Maybe people aren't no, buying your vegetables no, no, too no, much. I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't overcharge. Six well, silver. maybe it is because I just love the color of your beard. Uh, again, it's beautiful. I, fine, I'll take a three silver tip. Oh, well, I'm very happy to hear this. Um, What did you say your name was? Uh, 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 Raleigh Greenbeard. Raleigh, Raleigh Greenbeard. Wait, is it green? Is it always green? Well, well, I, I dye it green. I mean, it's not actually my last name. I, oh. I don't even really like my last well, name. Well, my last name's not really Zucchini either, so I understand. Thank you for understanding, pretty lady. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take these vegetables. I'm going to name you. I'm just going to hold up the green pepper. I'm going to name you Clancy. Thank you, sir. He gives you a really weird look when you do that. <laughs> I'm going to... Like take Clancy, and I'm gonna go. Goodbye. <laughs> and okay. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> As Raleigh looks stunned, we're going to go over to Justice. Where are you up here? <laughs> Justice uh, is uh, gonna be looking around for any crime that may be happening. Justice is a dark-skinned man. Uh, with an image for those of you who can benefit from such things. Uh, he is dressed currently in mostly just commoner's clothes with a hood up over his face and like a bandit mask covering the bottom half of it. Um, the fanciest thing about him is his double bladed longsword, which can be disconnected in the middle and wielded as two blades. Uh, currently it's in the disconnected form and an X on his back. And what I'm going to be I'm going to just be moving stealthily and silently through the crowd, trying to spot any wrongdoing. Okay, well, since you're not interacting with anybody other than searching for crime, roll your perception. It's perception time. Ha! Huh. Okay. We are talking about, uh, I want to say a 15. I'm oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely spot the okay. He's not very good. <laughs> Drop the queen first. Uh, what does he do then? He looks around and starts to run away. Does he pick up the coin purse? No. Okay, good. So I'm very embarrassed. Purse. I'm going after him. Okay. He notices you're coming after him. He starts to run even more. I give chase. Top speed. I want you to roll your acrobatics to try and elbow your way through the crowd. He's going to do the same. About that. Uh, I about rolled it? low. <laughs> I have. I have a one. Yeah. Oh. Well, he actually manages to outpace you a little. <laughs> Surprisingly. Since you tripped over your own feet. But he's not getting too far. He's also having trouble getting through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> What should I do? Well, 
it's up to you. You can still pursue him because you can oh, see him. Hell yeah, I'm going to pursue him. He's not, he's not getting through the power. No one escapes justice. Let's go again. No <laughs> okay, there we um, go. You'll have an easy time getting to him. He just fell. Uh, well, this time I uh, rolled a 13. So I catch up to him. He's on the ground. Uh, I just want to, like, stomp on his back. <clears throat> Push him back down into the ground. I quit it. Stop there. I saw what, what you, you did. I, do? I can't get up with your foot in me back. You tried to steal from a helpless citizen. Yeah, and I failed too. You did. You're not very good at this, but that doesn't matter. Oh, no kidding. A criminal is a criminal. I'm a criminal, not my choice, mate. I've got to do this. Why? Well, because I, I'm indebted to somebody. Who? I can't tell you that, mate. He'll kill, he'll kill me. He'll kill me, my family. He'll kill my damn hamster if I let him. Tell me who he is. I'll make sure he's no threat to you I can't or you. your family. I can't tell you who he is, mate. No offense, but uh, you don't exactly seem like the type that could take him out. Well, I am justice. And nobody escapes you're, justice. You're what now? I am justice. <coughs> Is that your name? <laughs> Will someone give you that name? I am justice. R right. I'm going to. You seem pick like him up. a bad thing to me, eh? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing there for, mate? You are going to the guards. All right. I don't think I can fight you. I can't even steal the coin purse. Let's go. Fine. Shove him forward, man. All right. As you escort him to the guards, we're going to go to Mr. Gogtart, Gogtart Porkhand of Snot Hollow. Okay, so my character, I want a kind of a rough idea what he looks like. Well, this is... There we go. He is riding a green-furred pig, and he's in really janky-looking put together armor he doesn't that's not his actual helmet right now he's actually wearing a cauldron with with slots cut out of it for his eyes and he's he has a along the side of his pig he's got a lance attached on one side and a what looks to like a old a large old rusted and pitted meat cleaver attached to a long pole on the other side and he's just Wandering the, uh, wandering the courtyard on his feed, looking for a place to view the parade. All right, as you're um, riding your steed through the through the crowded streets, you see a guard, bit out of shape, walk up to you, say, uh, "Excuse me, sir, you're going to have to hitch your steed there to a hitching post." A what now? A hitching post. No, no, uh, before that. What did you, what did you say? Through. What? What did you say before that? I would say you have to hit your steed, your ride, your... your, your uh, you only have to hit Can your... you direct me to the hitching post that would be have the best view of the parade? Well, it's going to be on the side of the street, so it's going to have the same view as everyone else. If you want to know the truth. Right, right. So, where would that be? Well, the, any hitching post you can get to, sir. The, right, they, right. All along. Where, all where along. is the where is the nearest hitching post? Well, it's right over there. You can just open your eyes and look. <laughs> right over there. Well, right. there's no no need to no need to be rude. I'm new here. I don't know the city. Right. Well, you do have eyes, don't you? You can use them to see the hitching post over there. I'm going to mimic his voice and say, well, thank you very much. And <laughs> I got a, uh, got a uh, 16 to imitate his voice. And it did pretty well. And so, and I, 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 I... Sir, you shouldn't be mocking me, sir. I'm just trying to do my job here. Hey, yo! <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and roll your perception. My perception? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Four. Okay, so you don't hear him as he says, <laughs> And I find the hitching post, and I just 
sit on my pig next to the hitching post. And Do you hitch? hitch? It's a hitching uh, post. Do you hitch? Yeah. All right. I guess, sure, I'll hitch him, but I'll get back up on him after I hitch him. And I'm not even going to have you roll your perception for this. You hear next to you a blood-curdling scream as a little girl sees you. Okay. Her mother and father come running up. <laughs> okay. The father looks at you and goes, um, what are you doing here? Watching the parade. You are a goblin. <laughs> yes, it's birth. I don't know how to say this lightly, but, um... I would prefer it if someone of your kind wasn't anywhere near us. My kind? My daughter is terrified of you. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. Sir, you're riding a deformed pig. And you are... Yes, this is Gutshank. He's a very nice boy. I I would like it. And my daughter would certainly like it if you would move. Do I see this happening? Exception. Oh, cat ass! That's a one. That's a nat one. Because <laughs> 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 you're looking at your vegetables and fruit. <laughs> Clancy. Oh, I was looking at Clancy. <laughs> uh, it is getting kind of loud, and that scream was pretty high pitched. So anyone in the general city, which is everyone here, can roll to see, see if they heard. Twenty one. Nice job. This- There he's just got Clancy, and she's like, I love it here. I love it here so much. I too have a 21. And I have a 19. So, everyone but Zuri, including Brad, <laughs> notice this. Let's start with uh, Rain. What are you doing if you know, when you notice this? Oh, well, I was just observing the townsfolk and. Um, and the parade and trying to figure out um, the best spot to see all of the parade. And I guess I would hear the scream while that happens. Mm -hmm. I think I would go towards where the commotion was happening. Okay. Mind describing yourself, Rain? So, before you, you would see this five foot eight girl uh, with a timid but observant expression with a full head of dark brown loose curly hair that barely brushes the tops of her shoulders and and she has lavender eyes and rose colored lips she has slightly pointed ears that would identify her as a half-elf, but no one would be able to tell that right away because her hood and her hair hide them well. Uh, She wears this hooded black belted leather jacket with a black two-tiered ruffle skirt trimmed with intricate silver embroidery. She's also wearing ripped black leggings underneath with black studded combat boots. She carries a light crossbow and a backpack pouches uh, strapped to her waist. And she has a wand strapped to her as well. And you would also see a short-haired black cat walking beside her. And this cat has three green eyes and a double-ended tail along with an extra appendage on both front paws. Yeah. Ow. Meowed. <laughs> okay. So, what are you doing, Rain? I'm walking towards uh, the commotion where I heard the little girl scream. Okay. Well, you see a goblin sitting on a pig. A, a goblin pig, so it looks like a deformed pig to you. A little girl sobbing, her mother holding her, and her father screaming at the goblin on the pig. So I do not go up to them. I just kind of stay close by and just make sure and 
worried that it, I mean, if something ends up worse happening, then I think I would step in. So I'm just going to kind of observe them from a closer distance than I was. Okay. Justice, are you doing anything? Well, let's ask first, how close is the nearest guard? Uh, the nearest guards are at the gates to the uh, Grand, Grand Fort. Yeah. How close is the nearest guard? To him. To you? Uh, like across the street. Okay. And I can I see the commotion or do I just hear the scream? You heard it. Uh, the guard is closer than the commotion where you are. I'm going to rush this guy over to the nearest guard, and I'm going to say, excuse me. Oh, who is this? This man is a pickpocket, and he attempted to steal a coin purse from a woman not five minutes ago. The guy you turn over to the guard goes, hey, he, he's right. I tried to pickpocket it. I guess you just have to throw me in the stocks. He says he's working for someone. Find out what uh, what you can. They won't get it out of me, mate. You uh, have yourself a nice day. Justin. I'm gonna leave him with the guard and just run towards the screams. Since now there's another problem I have to go deal with. Okay. What are you <laughs> doing? Just the world on his shoulders. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Mister Blood Rose? Uh, well. I hear the scream, yeah? I don't yep. see anything? Nope. Okay, so um, first of all, I'll describe myself. For those of you watching, this is uh, something you can use as reference for my character. For those of you listening, um, my character has a light shade of I think almost a lavender, periwinkle-ish purple skin. Uh, he has pointed ears similar to an elf. He has reddish-brown hair that's Got a little long strand of hair falling to the right side of his face, but it's on the outside, kind of just framing his face around the middle of his cheek. The rest of his hair is combed back and pulled into a bun, and his jawline is outlined with a light beard. Definitely more more than stubble, but not a huge bush either. There's no mustache, it's just a beard that frames his jaw. He has yellow eyes with a little deeper yellow color pupils. He has a scar that runs across the bridge of his nose and one on his left eyebrow that has broken the eyebrow. He has slate gray horns jutting from just the top of his forehead going backwards in the way that he pulls his hair back and they stop halfway to the top of his head. His arms and wrists, though mostly covered, um, are also covered in scars as if he was cut by a thousand small blades. He wears a black tunic uh, with a gray vest and a deep purple amulet hangs in the middle on a chain right above that vest. Uh, he has brown leather pauldrons over both of his shoulders and a black cloak that clasps around his neck and drops just to his knees. Uh, the bottom is a little tattered and he has an empty sheath tucked behind his back on his belt line horizontally. He also seems to be in his mid-twenties, about six foot tall. Pretty slender man and like I said he heard the commotion uh, and when he hears the commotion Rather than running to it, he's going to use this to his advantage. And he's looking around to see if there are any wealthy looking people in the vicinity without a child on them or attached to them, you know, in the hand. Roll <laughs> <laughs> perception. Attach the child's hand? No! no you, know, hold, you know what I mean, <laughs> holding hands. Is anybody leashed? <laughs> Uh, for perception, he has a twenty-two. Yeah, you definitely see uh, a younger, a young man, uh, dressed very foppishly, but not an entertainer. He's obviously um, a wealthy, a wealthy noble or wealthy uh, part of the gentry. Is there? Uh, is he in the way of the scream? In the direction of the scream? No, he's not. In fact, he doesn't roll perception. Okay. I'll roll another. Uh, this time is a 19. Yeah. Uh, he definitely noticed it, but he also doesn't seem to care. Doesn't seem to care. Cool. Um, I'm going to, like, shoulder check him from the 
side and see if I can pick his pocket. Okay. Uh, yeah. it goes again, his perception. Whatever that may be. Uh, my sleight of hand is a 21. Well, you beat him by one. <laughs> well. So, um, when I take the object, I'll just kind of keep moving. Uh, and I will grasp my hand on the object. Does it look like it's something that has any emotional connection? Like, does it look like it would be something that would be um, tied to a family member or something? Or do I feel any kind of psychic vibes on this object? It's uh, it's it's an ornate dagger, not jewel encrusted, but obviously uh, some kind of ornamentation. Um, there are some slight psychic vibes off, but nothing really powerful. Probably just uh, a minor family heirloom. Uh, I'll tuck it in behind my belt, underneath my cloak, uh, and look around and see if I see anybody else that looks like they might be wealthy, particularly a woman. Full perception. Oh, uh, that's going to be the best perception I've had all night. That is a 24. You see a uh, woman who looks like she's wealthy. She's definitely been unsettled by the screaming child, but she hasn't made any moves to go towards it. Um, okay, so you know what I'll do? I'll walk towards her and then scream, Oh my God, do you see that? Uh, <laughs> while pointing in the direction where the scream came from, I'll try and use my tail to go behind her and take an object. Throw your sleight of hand. 16. Yeah, you don't. She notices. And she screams, guards! Guards! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. It is not... It's my tail. It has its own mind. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's no way to get the guards. There's no reason to get the guards. Trust me. Well, you're bluff. Oh, um, we'll bluff. Uh, well, uh, natural 20 on the die. That gives me a 25. Okay, yeah. She believes you. She just gives you a, a weary look, uh, a weary stare, and said, "Just get away from me, you." Sir. Yes, yes, I, I know. Like, I'm a sir. terrible, horrible demon. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna scatter away towards where I heard the sound. Okay. All right. Well, uh, your altercation with the uh, father of the girl is going on. You see a bald man. Dressed in the. Dressed in. Some of the vestments of St. Dogden. Um, he's got a. He's got a, a black uh, mustache and beard. He's wearing um, a half plate mail. There's a sickle at his side and a spiked heavy shield on his back. He's a handsome devil. <laughs> he walks up to you and says, Right, now what's going on here? I'm just trying to watch the parade. And the father turns to him red in the face and says, There is a goblin here. Goblins do not belong in polite society. You're the one not being polite. The man in the plate mail, who's, you don't know, but this is Graham Campbell, uh, looks at him and says, Hey, listen. Everyone has a right to be here. There are no race, age, or any other discriminatory policies in place during the day of the parade. Now, either you be quiet, or I'll make you quiet. To that, the father looks at you, Godtart, looks at Graham, uh -huh. and <laughs> says, Fine, I'll take my daughter and wife elsewhere. Which Graham responds, you do that. Graham then looks at you. Sorry about that little fracas, Mr. Uh, what's your name there? Doug Tart Park, Pork Hand. I stick my hand out to shake him. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Pork Hand. <clears throat> now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have things I should be doing. I'm part of the patrol here. <laughs> And with a 24 on my mimicry, right, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. 
Are you mocking me, mister? No, what? not at all. I love to hear other people's voices. Why? I've always liked humans. I watch all the human plays and tournaments and stuff like that, and I love to just try to pretend to be one. Is that why you're riding a pig? It's my noble steed. How else am I supposed to be a knight? I don't know how noble it is. I'm not sure how much of a steed it is either, but it is a uh, large pig. He's my best friend. Uh, what's your best friend's name there? I'm sorry, I missed that. What's, what's your best friend's name there? Oh, this is Gutshank. Right. I'll leave you to it then. And Graham wanders off. And as Graham leaves and the family, other people start coming, other people start gathering around you. Now, at this point in time, I want everyone to roll perception. Oh. I have an eight. My guy is just not perceptive. I'm going to use the die that's been working for me tonight. And it's the Five. middling, literally. 16. 18. I need to change my die. 11. A Third five. Time, anyone with a 15 or more notices... That the argument of the two guys uh, arguing over the box is getting very loud. Uh, there's a half orc and a gnome arguing over this rather large box and where it's supposed to go. The half orc saying, "Look, I've got the orders. It says right here that I'm supposed to drop it off at the corner of Great Path and Main Way, and this is it right here." And the gnome said, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to drop it off here. It's supposed to be dropped off at the warehouse, which is at the other end of the city. What are you doing? There's a parade coming through here. Why would they want a big box? And it looks like they might start coming to blows. So, Justice, you're up. A gnome looks like he might fight a half-orc. Yeah. <laughs> looks like getting ready to fight a half-orc. Well, I was headed towards the child's scream, but I, I guess I saw this along the way. So <laughs> it was one scream with no more follow-up. It's been a, a bit, it sounds like. So maybe I will stop and pay attention to this. But would I... Uh, really, I only have one question. Is any crime being broken? Uh, any law being broken? It depends. I mean... It could be littering, it could be loitering, it could be any number of uh, small crimes. Violation, nothing major right now. Hmm. I will wander over, and I will just say, gentlemen, I'd like to remind you that assault in public is certainly a crime. I'm not going to insult the little guy. I just was told to put the box right here. I'm worried he might assault you, sir. Him? If he assaults me, I'll use him as a toothpick. No, no, no. I'm leaving the box where I was told to leave the box. If he wants to try and assault me, well, that's his loss. And the, the half work turns and starts to walk away. Oh, okay. What's the gnome do? This, someone has to deal with this. Get that brute back here. Can you lift this box? No, it's three times my size, you idiot. Do you have co-workers? Do I have co- Yes, but they're off. It's the day of the parade. I'm not- This is supposed to go to the warehouse, not to my stall. What the hell is it, it doing here? It sounds like you need to make arrangements to get this moved. Am I in the vicinity? Maybe you can help. You willing to pay? <laughs> no. Oh, you look like a strong lad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the what vicinity? What am I to do with this thing? Rinion's curious. Is he in the vicinity? Yeah. I would probably uh i've seen this walking away as i was perceiving this fight probably was watching the outskirts and now the big guy walked away and these two are talking i'll walk in 
Oh, what seems to be the problem? That fool of a half orc left this huge box right here, and he went. It's supposed to go to the warehouse at the other end of the city. It's not supposed to be in the way of the parade. Well, um, what's in the box? Probably. What's in the box? <laughs> I'm part of my forge. I'm a weapons dealer. Well, weapons smith, actually. Oh. Well, uh, oh. I could take it to the warehouse for you. By yourself? Did that half orc carry it here by himself? Yeah, but that half orc's very strong. That half orc you... actually has <clears throat> enchanted things to make him even stronger. Do you not think that I'm very strong? Why don't you try and pick up one end? Okay. Guess I gotta make a strength check. Yes, you do. Pick up his end. I've got uh, fourteen. Yeah, no, it's, it's extremely heavy. <laughs> well, I guess then you're going to have to leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yes, you're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> walking Language. Over. Right. What seems to be the problem here? What's going on? Just one at a time. People. Go, what seems to be the problem here? Nope. Not going to bother moving the box. What seems to be the problem? Oh, nope. Not going to move the box. He's got a very hairy box here, and he can't bring it to his warehouse where he said it needs to go. Um, the other gentleman believe that it belongs here. So, I was offering to help, but it's a very heavy box. Is Zuri over there? Yeah, we're in the perception. Let's see if you finally notice what's going on. Uh, I have a, I have a three, and I'm wondering if I can walk backwards into the box while talking to Clancy. <laughs> sure. With that, absolutely. So as you guys are talking about the box, a hey, very pretty girl roll. walks backwards and stumbles into the box. <laughs> I, I'm talking to my, uh, my green pepper Clancy, and I'm like. I love this parade. It is the best parade. Oh, oh! I'm so sorry. What is this box here? Is this, is this your box? Uh, Rain and Godtart. I want you to roll perception again. I just did again. Seventeen this time. Finally, I can. I get something over a ten. Get... Nine. <laughs> roll perception for your cat. <laughs> <laughs> The eyes were so intense right there. <laughs> it, the cat has three eyes. That's a bonus. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> goes, running, goes running away. Where are you going? <laughs> I chase after soot. Okay. Uh, Godtard, are you going to check out what's going on with the box? Yes, I'm going to unhitch my noble steed and I will <laughs> mm -hmm. okay and rain is on her way so start with Zuri who just got there a the really doing? big box what is this doing here that's what I'm trying to find out this gnome here uh, looks like he's having a bit of a problem did you come out of the box no I didn't come out of the box I'm a weaponsmith. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I don't know. This is the parade, and you could have I'm, I'm been sorry. trying to. Let me let me start again. <clears throat> Part I'm of the a, show. My name is Slashy McSlasherton, mm -hmm. and this belongs to my warehouse at the other end of the city. Slashy McSlasherton. I am Zuri Zucchini. It is so wonderful to meet you. Emporium. I run Slashy McSlasherton Slashing Emporium, the biggest. The biggest store of edged weapons and the like, including ammunition for your bows, arrows, for your bows, crossbows, whatever, in the city. I don't have a crossbow, but I have this rapier. I'm going to take it out. Do you like this rapier? It's my rapier. I'd like it better if it stayed on the back, on your back. Well, I just do like the slashy things, and then there's it's an edged blade. Yes, I'll put it away. Back before the guards see you. Do you need me to cut this box? Just this, what are you doing? You hear this going on. Said, 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 I'm going to roll my eyes and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Graham says, um, uh, Miss, you, you really do need to put the weapon back. I've already shifted. I've just, 
I I just I thought that maybe he would want me to slice the box if it was in the way. No, I, I asked him if we could empty it, and he said no. Empty it of what? It's full of, of, of billets of different kinds of metal, some of them exotic, and it has to go down to the warehouse on the other end of the city. Well, why don't you take it there? <laughs> it's not strong enough. Will you look at me, please? <laughs> I thought you came out of the box. Maybe if you went in the box and you pushed it from the inside. Listen, two of you grab one end, two of you grab another end. Wait, Are you paying us? Your end? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have something. I'll be right back. I'm sure the box won't move, but don't any of you move either. Any I already problem? moved. Zuri will completely freeze. <laughs> and, and, like, look around with her eyes. Like... I think he wants your pepper to grab an end. <laughs> what did you say? So, you, you and your you guys notice a cat hop on, hop onto the box. Pepper. The cat is polydactyl, has the two tip tail and a third eye. Oh, <gasps> cat! Oh, great. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm sorry. This is this is this your kitten? Oh, um, yes, so is my friend. Can can I touch your cat, please? <laughs> Um, if, if so, once you <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand out for so to sniff. <laughs> so, so it sniffs, uh, sn so it was, will sniff your hand, and he will give you, uh, permission to pet him. I'm, I'm going to pet Soot, and I'm going to go, soft, kitty, warm, kitty, <laughs> little for <water> a fur. <laughs> <laughs> What's Anyone your name? To be here anymore. Oh, oh, that's a lovely <laughs> song. Oh, my, my name is is Rain. Rain, like mm -hmm. wet, like wet stuff. Mm. <laughs> no, it, it's 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 spelled. Uh, I I think it's spelled differently. Like um, do rain over the city? Yes, that's it. Oh, you know, it's funny because that so could good. mean both things. If you say rain over the city, it could be the rain that comes down. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, you know, I am I tell jokes. That's what I do. Do you see this box? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, so it didn't ruin it, did, did he? Well, how could a cat ruin a big box? I don't understand it. Well, he jumped on it. I didn't know if you guys were trying to take it somewhere. somewhere. Well, I think I'm we not. were, but we were told to wait. Who are you, by the way? Do you Me? own the box? Yes, you. Hi. No, the Hello, I'm Zuri Zucchini. He just told you that before. What? The gnome. He owns the box. Slash Emix, Slash Latin, or whatever his name is. Well, that awesome. was Weapon Emporium. Well, okay. I don't know. Slash he could have a dual ownership or something. Emporium. <laughs> no. What is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, your, so your name is what? Not given. Thank you. Not given. Um, yes. Is it one name or is it two names? Is it not given or not given? I, I think he's not going to give you. Mr. Peeny? No, I said Miss Zucchini. Please. No, I'm Zucchini. <laughs> You're not Zucchini. I'm also not a miss. Listen. I do not very, make assumptions. You're very entertaining, but um, so I'm going you. to leave. I've not because even tried to tell you a joke yet. This seems to be not what I'm here for. So. He told you not to leave. He's not my father. Well, this is what but I don't I think know. we should all help with this because the, the trade's coming through. We don't need any more. We, we don't need this getting in the way. What is your and name? My name is Graham Campbell. Graham? Graham Campbell. Oh, I like that one. It sounds okay. good. Thank you. Holy uh, crap, are you a goblin? I am. <gasps> I have always wanted to meet a goblin. Oh, I saw you before. Before we got here. At this, Do you at, know at each other? Uh, no, oh. I, I saw a family um, try to intrude on him in his in his pig. I'm, I'm sorry. To ride on his pig? Hmm? 
a Did little you? girl I saw a little girl scream and and then a whole bunch and a couple of people caused a commotion so and I watched it and I watched that happen but it it was okay in the end yep it was a big misunderstanding a pig misunderstanding <laughs> you like <Please>. that one <laughs> Well, you I think you have enough people like to that? move this crate. I should, <laughs> well, I should be on my way. Right. <laughs> you need this crate moved. You need really? this crate moved. We do. My pig is very strong. As you guys are talking, as Rinian almost leaves, Flashy <laughs> comes back with an octagonal metal box. It looks like an octagonal metal box. All right. Watch this. He puts it on top, and metal chains come out. To start unfolding out of it, wrapping the box in a star-shaped pattern. They seem to lift up the box and two small wheels appear underneath. And then extending out from one of the chains looks like something like a yoke where you can attach a mount. Oh. Is there also a man with a whole bunch of pins in his head? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that box. <laughs> I have wonderful don't, don't have <laughs> I have such sights to show you. And Slashy says that is Cal Warren technology. Well, a very forbidden piece of Cal Warren technology. But it'll get the box out of here. Now uh, excuse me. If you it's forbidden, it. can you not use it? I have a special dispensation. Do you have a disability? <laughs> Do I look one? like I have a disability? Uh, you're, you're very small. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm very small. Oh, but you're so cute, though. I'm so sorry. I've never been here before. I need to know right now if any of you here have something above a room temperature IQ. That's all I want to know. <laughs> We're not in a room. We're I outside. Think my question, my line of questioning is totally legitimate. I am allowed. I have a permit. Can I, I see said permit? Are you a co <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hear you. Are you a guard? No. Then no. Well, I don't want to be caught up in doing anything nefarious. Yeah, point. Justice Returns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad I left that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this man, if he is Slashy McSlash with him, and I think he is, uh, likely does have the proper papers. Oh, you're a guard. Okay, so the guard says it's okay, so we can do it. Uh, I am not a guard. I work with them. I'm, I'm a war priest. Oh, I have a flock. They're part of my flock. <gasps> Are they How many geese? sheep? No, oh. no, they're, they're parishioners. They're what? I'm a journeyman war priest. So, uh, yeah, they're not they're not sheep. They're worshippers, and uh, I I perform duties for them. What kind of duties? Well, confessions, uh, giving out communion. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, um. As interesting as this all is, and hmm. as charming as you all are, <laughs> he's got a pig, you've got a box that can be pulled by a pig. And you're I'm going to escort it. All of you. What? You don't me? control me. <laughs> um, Even me? 25 gold I'm going to pay <laughs> off. A... Control 25 you. gold? Well, hmm. Let's see. That's a horse of a different color. Green? Each one of us. Yes. What part of biggest weapons manufacturer in the city do you not understand? Why don't you go? Sorry, I don't know what to say. What? Uh, well, it used to feel like if it is your box and you have the permit for it, then maybe you, you should go with the box. Fall behind me? Uh, no, I don't. I rolled the one on my perception. <laughs> Okay, this fellow behind me has a bunch of my best ornamentational pieces. I'm not leaving it behind. Why don't you take it? 
The stall behind me has some of my best ornamentational pieces. I'm not leaving it behind. Do I have to? Do you want you to take the stall with you? Yes. Why don't you take the stall? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> well, now you've got a hitch. How did you get this stall here? You must have took it somehow. Does that look like you could take an entire stall? <laughs> You would have another one of those box. boxy thingies, and you could drag it around wherever. That's well, oh yes, because those um, just grow on trees. I didn't have to go all the way to Cowworm back just to get it. Slashy. One of those. What is your name? That's your actual name, is Slashy. As far as you're concerned, yes. And sure. My actual, all right. And my actual accent is a, is a Northern Dunmurn one, not the Elmenian right. one you're hearing right now. And in well, repeating his accent. Yeah, and I'm really irritated about everything going on right now because I'm an important person has important things to do. Oh. Yes, I am. I'm glad you realized that. You do impersonations? Yes. That was a really good oh, Can you impersonate me? Oh, my God. Listen, <laughs> I, I will do it. I will take your box, but I you need to You can impersonate me? Because I, I cannot walk with these people. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you I if will, you need help. I will work for you. For thirty, please. Bless you. It's Twenty-five gold a piece and a ten percent discount on your first purchase at my emporium. You're going to pay us to do what? To walk? To move his box, box oh, that he came out of. Move the box. Okay, but I want to watch the oh, parade. And to not, well, you don't have to not open it. The chains will prevent you from opening it. But to move the box to escort it, yes. Well, we'll be back in time for the parade. I don't I've, know. It depends on but how they've fast never you seen are. a parade. I would really like to. I don't, I don't know. It depends on how fast you are. <laughs> I'm we going can get to this done. Hold. Gutschank is very strong. I'm going to hold my hand out, and then I'm going to drag my left arm across my hand and snap, and a magic blade will appear. And I'm like, I don't actually need your weapons. I have my own. So, I don't need your discount. But I'll take the five I extra gold. My brother's armor, though. Well, now, let's see what how this yoke thingy works. Like your your magic bog worm or whatever. Fine, I'll pay you twenty five gold and convince my brother to give you a twenty percent discount at his store, which is Smashy McSmasherton's, uh, Smashing Emporium, but also includes armor. Is it the tavern? Does it sound like? Oh, we get smashed. Very good. I actually like that one. <laughs> 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 oh, Rick, you're into so much trouble. <laughs> um, I will start trying to yoke the thingy yes. onto Gutshank. So far, the only person doing as I asked is the goblin. And He's just the mount. I'm not even what? here. <laughs> exactly. I left, so I don't have to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> well, the one with the cat. Do you do anything besides stroke your cat? Oh. Mm. I just got here. He has no, I'm not. Argument, unlike I'm some just, people. I'm just asking because she has jokes and a and a shiny sword that she pulled out. It's a rapier. He has a pig. This guy has Steve. a flock of people. Your uh -huh. pig is named Steve? It's called a parish. Where are you from? Anything? He said a flock. Shank. You said a flock of people. <laughs> it is a flock. Why okay. do you call it a flock? It sounds <laughs> like they're seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's a haircut. Seagulls and a parish. You said he doesn't need a haircut. Did you want to meet my... This is this is this is a green pepper, but I've named it Clancy. Is it? Is it? Is it? Your your is is it named your pepper Clancy? Um, that's a wonderful name. Yeah, I thought so. He told me he liked it. Is it ride or handle animal to to hitch something up to a yoke up to his barding? What'd you get? No, I'm asking. Is it ride or handle animal? Handle animal. Handle animal. So I can speak English. Phenomena. Do, so do, 19 do, do, do. to hook yeah. it up to his barding. It's easy. I think we're all set here. Then I climb back up on that shank. Okay. Oh, wait. Where's your warehouse? It's in Cheapside. Cheapside. All the way at the southern... 
all the way to the southwestern end of the city. And you right now are in the northwestern part, albeit in the central northwest. Albeit in the central northwestern part. So it's um, one. So which way is that? Southeastern. You're going. You're going from the northwestern. You're going. Sorry, okay. southwestern part. You're going from the northeastern part to the southwestern part. So, so down, which direction no, do I go? Just follow me. I'll walk. Oh, okay. Are we going to? Yes. Ben, do, 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 do you want to be paid? We can make our own parade. I won't go, I guess. I will, but I really wanted to see this parade. I heard there were going to be jesters, and I heard well, there were going to be acrobats. I, I also go. heard that this parade was something to see. That's why I came here. I've never been anywhere before. This is my first time. We're, we're going to get back for the parade. We have to clear this for the parade. Otherwise, the parade can't come through. <laughs> so let's go bring us to the warehouse. Get some money. Enjoy the parade. Enjoy food. Never speak to each other again. And go on our oh. way. I would still talk to you. Oh, my God. Justice. Please. I really Please. like your tail. Justice, I want you to roll tail. perception. Okay. I kind of like it very much. <laughs> Am I going with everybody too? Twenty. I would really yes. like it if you can. You get okay. paid if you go. Oh, you deliver okay, to the guards, you see him running away. Oh, what about running away? The guy who delivered to the guards, you see him running away and towards the vicinity of the box and everything else, and the, the five people are. <laughs> I. He's. I guess I'd go towards him. <laughs> get away from the guards. Yeah, I guess he got away, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone at the box, roll your perception. <laughs> Whoa, let's see. Oh, I got the four. Ooh. Fifteen. <laughs> A ten. Fourteen. Uh. Hey, uh, everyone but Zuri seems to have seen him. And there's this, there's this guy, dirty blonde hair, wispy little mustache, running towards you. Towards um, the box. Can I put up my arm to close on him? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Um. Should roll, I make like, roll your uh, roll, roll on arm attack. Yeah, it's a I roll an attack. Uh, that's a fifteen hit. Yeah, you hit him. Uh, he goes down pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> you see, there's a passive shot, right? So he goes down <laughs> on the ground. Ah, oh, this is just as it my day, is it? Where are you going, friend? Getting away from the guard I just killed. I'm sorry, you did what? I said I'm getting away from the guard I just killed. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> he's very honest, but he's like a weird criminal. <laughs> um, with that, I am going to form a blade in my hand while he's on the ground. <laughs> I'm just going to snap my fingers. Not even going to do the full display I did for you guys. I'm just going to snap my fingers and blade out. I am going to unhitch my horse chopper. Well, <laughs> I guess you're going to die. Well, I guess I am going to die. <laughs> you I'm going to talk to my green pepper. <laughs> you have oh. no uh, want to live. All right, well. You get this can, I, can I arrive <laughs> at this point? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> what is going on? Who are you? Ron says he killed a god. I am Justice. Who are all of you? I thought you oh. were doing something Excuse with me, the sir. I am Gog Tart Park Borkhand. At your service. Father Graham Campbell, War Priest of St. Dogger. She's Clancy. Hello. She's, she's a little special. Anyway, this guy killed I a god. I think she said her name was Eggplant. No, my name is Sore Zucchini. <laughs> What do you mean he killed a guard? Who killed a guard? What are you talking about? He said he killed guards. I'm gonna you draw killed guards? My swords. <laughs> and put them together at the middle. Graham, one, hide. Two. He says he kills guards. Approach uh, this guy. Is he I'm laying standing down over still? with a sword in my hand? <laughs> I guess he is laying down. So staying over him. I'm just going to kneel. What do you mean you killed a guard? When you do that, he chomps down and says... Dover Crest sends his regards. I hope this city burns. Um, I, 
Here are oh my outside my window. Okay. Oh, another one. Two. Nagasaki. Wait, what did he bite down on? You'll find out. He starts foaming at the mouth. There's cyanide pills. Oh. Here. Did he explode? Is this guy no, he didn't. I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> well, I've been rolling nothing but ones for my perception, so I don't know. <laughs> As this is going on, you see a plume of smoke erupt over the city. The second one, then a third one, all in different places. There's tons of them. The smoke is blotting out the sun. It's becoming dark where you are. The guy who just bit down on whatever was in his mouth. Uh, is very clearly dead at this point. And very clearly, he was part of what was going on. It's starting to go on. Mostly dead. Rinian, roll perception. Are they still happening? These I bombs? know, there's still more explosions. 20. And people just kind of uh, milling about here. <laughs> <laughs> they are starting to panic, alright? Mm -hmm. People are now running and screaming, but the foppish guy you saw is still very calm. Which guy? The the rich gentleman he stole something from is still very calm. The guy that I roamed. Yeah. All you of a sudden, like... you feel something very powerful coming from that dagger. You see him look at you, he winks, and disappears. Shit. Oh. Well, that's unusual. Mm -hmm. What do I feel coming from the dagger? A sense of victory. Ooh. A very strong sense of victory. As you I... feel that, things that look like little lizard dogs. Um, anyone have uh, knowledge nature, knowledge dungeoneering, anything like that? Mm, let's see. Nope. I have Don't zero think... knowledge at this time. I have nature. Okay. I have nature. Yes. 18 on nature. I have an 18 on nature as well. Okay. You recognize these things. They look like kobolds, but they're clockwork. They're mechanical. They're coming out of the storm drain. Some of them are coming out of a manhole cover. And the box starts vibrating. Is it getting a call? What? Is it getting Cole involved? is coming from inside the box. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you only feel it shaking slightly. I immediately start to unhitch gut shank from this thing. Okay. I'm gonna to like get down and start feeling the neck of this man who just collapsed biting something. He's clearly dead. Mm hmm Who are you? I well, there's a lot happening all of a sudden. Uh, you said that there's there's things coming out of manholes and out of the woodwork, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, what are they doing? They're seeming to ready weapons and start going after the people in the crowd. Oh, it doesn't no. look like they're really... It doesn't look like they've killed anyone yet, but they... They appear hostile? They do appear hostile, yes. I will move in to attack them. Okay, save that thought. Zuri... You're checking the guy's pulse. As you check it, his features melt away, including his hair, into a faceless, oblong thing. He's got no face anymore. No hair. Nothing. Um, uh, Sarah's going to scream and like back <laughs> up. And she's going to grab whoever's next to her. Whoever Who is next to her? Uh, probably Graham. Okay, she's going to grab Graham. She's going to say, this is his face. It's gone. Graham takes out his sickle and says, what sorcery is this? I decided to not do it. <laughs> uh, uh, Godfart and Rain, roll your perception. 14. 18. Yeah, you both see the guy's face disappear. Face and hair oh. disappear. Um, that's unsettling. That's on where, where did it go? Can I detect magic in the area? Yeah, but before you do that, the knife sends you a very clear signal. Three words. 
The attack has begun. That's four words. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, don't you, you shut it? it. <laughs> We're going to get smited now because of you. Yeah, four words. He's right. The attack has begun. So someone is communicating with this dagger, and that guy knew that I took it. He didn't seem to mind. Well, that's why I detected magic. I want to see if there's anything magic in the area, including this dagger. I might have to drop this fucking thing. Well, it's going to take three rounds to concentrate and figure that out. Good luck. Mm -hmm. So, uh, going to end it right here. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's good. I'm bad. Bad on next time. Yep. I'm, I'm digging it. Mm. All right. Nice. Jump so, right into battle. That's correct. So, we we'll begin next time the first battle of Rolls Confirm. We're actually making progress. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's except for deal. Three words when he said four. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> God's that, keeping that, that, that number. They can't count, today. okay? They're weapons. <laughs> they don't know numbers. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had fun. and We certainly had fun playing tonight. Uh, can't wait to see you guys next week, and uh, we'll be back next Tuesday on Roll to Confirm. Good night. See you next Tuesday. See you Bye, next everybody. Tuesday. <laughs> Bye.